go with that it's too bright <clears throat> how about this one hey my friend and Jean Serge Gagnon and today as we wrap up 2022 we want to talk about the top five ways to grow not the top five ways the simple five steps to grow your audience in 2023 by the way happy new year hope you have the best year yet in 2023 and before we get to that first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right 2023 is right around the corner and when you see this video you're probably going to be uh, it's um, going to be published on 31st 30th of December so that means you might see it in the new year but that doesn't that's not the point here today we want to talk about growing your audience and the five steps to get it done in 2023 because you want to grow your audience you got to follow the steps that are the easiest why make it so complicated so we're going to talk about how to make it easy before we do that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you should be go checking out the video at cis440.jsgagnon.com to go check out the video and the blog post because I will be sharing my screen and I will be uh, kind of explaining what's going on in the audio enough but still you should go check out the video all right so let's get right to it let's share my screen right now and we just see the traditional Facebook page it's on Facebook obviously you're going to be posting content you're going to be doing things like me I'm posting content uh all the time and I'm engaging on stuff and I'm connecting with people and I'm sending messages I mean if I look at my notifications here you see there's lots of stuff going on my messages I got a bunch of messages going on right look 22 hours ago 20 hours ago 15 whatever right so I'm, I'm engaging I'm doing all the stuff and you know when we look at what leaders tell you to do right leaders will tell you to define your offer and avatar they're going to tell you to set up your profile they're going to tell you to post every day they're going to tell you to engage on other, other people's posts they're going to tell you to connect every day and <laughs> for the most part if you follow that you're going to do pretty good or at least it'll you know there's it'll eventually happen for you if you do that and that's why leaders they tell you you know what if I if you can't you if you don't have time to learn everything just post content every day for a year right so they tell you to do that right and I learned a lot of stuff using a platform called MSP where I learned all the basics of online marketing the build engage sell framework the the pillars and anyways there's whole stuff that they teach that was my foundation where I learned all this right but you know just like I'm noticing right now today I was actually looking at this I actually have this get the content um professional mode which I don't I haven't looked into yet but I've got that as an option now where I can enable professional mode. maybe by the time you watch this maybe next year you know it's gonna all be about professional mode if you're building on Facebook but regardless the five steps are going to be the same so we're going to get into those five steps and tell you kind of what they what they are right so let's get right to it so my five steps to grow your audience right so number one it is setting up your profile with the intent that visitors have a clear message of what you are about so what does that mean right it's kind of what they they tell you to do define your offer and avatar set up your profile right so you got to do that so when you look at my profile I'm not posting about a product that I'm selling or anything like that I except for some posts where because recently I've been promoting a new a new product a new software I did and you know I post things about me right I post me and then these are the workshop things that I was doing and it's basically just content that I post about well my weekly things and okay so but talking about the profile 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 you got a cover picture you got a profile picture your cover photo should either be what you're about in terms of your product and there's lots of people that teach about that or just something about your life what is what are you about right what are your values let them see that you like like that you have children or that you have um, 
you know a dog or a cat or that you travel a lot or those kinds of things let them see what you're about if it's not about your product which lots of people say post a picture of what you're offering what your product is that kind of stuff you know which maybe I will do but you, posting about you as who you are so that they get the feeling of what you're about what are your values you know what what's your past what's your where you're heading <laughs> that kind of stuff is also very important right so I'm sorry about that so I mean and also your profile picture is super important I actually have a pdf that goes through the five things to set up a pro profile for profits <coughs> if you're ever interested in that <clears throat> but the number two the first thing is your cover photo no, number two is your profile picture your profile picture should be about you not a profile picture with your whole family or or with your pet or 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 a scene or a logo or something no because people want to know you this is social media social media is about being social so they want to know who you are what you're about so they you need a picture of you there and preferably a picture of your face <laughs> and if you're you know maybe a bodybuilder then maybe you do put your whole body there to kind of show uh what what you're what you're about but normally you don't put your full body because you can't see the face that great right okay so next thing is your intro your intro has to say something about you so that they know what you're about kind of <coughs> sorry about that right so yeah so your profile not your profile your intro which is kind of your bio right should kind of have a few words so there's limited space there right on what you're about and maybe I'm actually going to edit it right now because I want to kind of change it to my <coughs> to what I do now so I'm a software creator for uh give group users <coughs> uh I should maybe say active group user active group user there you go <coughs> so basically that's one of the things right I am the active group users and if I if you go to this link uh a minus four oh I guess I missed active group users minus four see now I don't have enough space to put all that build let's just get search get most active users and and <coughs> well, still not enough and get most active users okay let's just take that out of there <coughs> from groups you care about <clears throat> okay let's do that one character remain okay so that's a bio that kind of tells people what this is about and uh <clears throat> and I can uh sure why not share it share the new bio change now my askjanosergegagnon.com website of course has to have the link and if I I should probably go edit that that's over here <clears throat> actually I'm going to go edit that right now make sure that my ask jeansurge.com website has a link to that it's going to be under the sites right here <coughs> actually they're there or there it's fine either one <coughs> take me to the sites <coughs> and my ask js is right here edit this I want to make sure I go and edit this site to have the right links on it <coughs> I'm sorry <clears throat> we're loading up the page I just want to make sure it's got the right links on it and uh, that the first link is the extension or the workshop at the very least turn cold press buyers fast free workshop uh might as well there's the yeah there it is so there's a whole bunch of stuff it's all related to that so that's fine I could probably change the background uh change it to a different theme here I don't know if I do this doesn't really matter which one I suppose I could use this one so how does that look except that the colors are too bright no I don't like that it's too bright <clears throat> how about this one 
sure just a little boat on a on a beach okay let's save that I'm gonna stun okay so now my website if I go to that link to that page right well actually let's do it from Facebook and click on it I click on this that loads up that page and that's what people will see if they access that link they'll be like oh what is this of course it's like you know it's not the prettiest but it's very simple very basic here's links and then there's a bunch of other stuff that they can maybe look at but the first few are all about that right I'm just going to close that close all this go back to Facebook all right so that's your bio now the other thing you might want to have in your bio is a list a few of the jobs you had so people know what you what you're kind of like what you what's your you know daytime and whatever but that's the first thing the first thing is have a profile and that profile is your cover photo your picture your bio and some of your information here in, in there right that's the first thing the first most important thing is set up your profile with intent that visitors have a clear message of what you are about now it could be like I said before it could be about selling something but try to avoid that because people don't like people that are trying to sell them something right okay so number two you got to be creating content regularly that is true leaders tell you to post every day now I'm not going to tell you to post every day you probably should be posting every day because the platform wants you to post every day <clears throat> some people post like five times a day ten times a day I'm not you know depending on the platform obviously the amount of time you post is really kind of up to you as to how um often you post but you definitely want to post regularly and if you're not posting every day then post every three days every five days but be consistent right create content regularly so most important is to be consistent right you got to be consistent and one of the things and when I say consistent is I mean if you're going to post every week well post every week if you're not going to post every day and you want to post every three days then post every three days if you're going to post every Wednesday and every Saturday then do that just do it consistently because uh, lots of things happen around the frequency and the way you do it the platform will notice uh, anyways it's all about algorithms and everything else but your visitors and your followers will also notice that you're doing that regularly right so that's and that's why I post you know two three times a day I'll post something and one of the things that I do is I also post <coughs> ideas from what I uh how I you know uh because well I guess I have to kind of cover that but the content you post is not always going to be easy to find the content you're not you're not always going to have ideas so there is ways to get ideas for your content through the other steps which is engaging on posts of people or your ideal prospects every day so you want to engage on posts of people so this is exactly what the leaders tell you right engage on the other people's posts every day specifically me I'm telling you to engage on posts of people who are your ideal prospect every day 10 to 20 per day 30 to 60 posts now you might be thinking oh my god that's a lot but if you were to track that like say I go to Facebook I can actually go up here and I can click on activity activity log <clears throat> you can actually see videos you've uh let's see where is it activity you're tagged in your post interactions I can actually go into interact interactions here and I can look at comments I can actually see here how many comments I did today right this is today 925 I, I I don't know how many it is but it's probably around the number because I have uh well I know it's around the number and I'll show you why in a minute but basically uh, you can see this is all okay this is all December 18th December 20th so that's this morning so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty forty one forty two forty three forty four forty five forty six forty seven forty eight forty nine fifty fifty one fifty two fifty three so fifty three I actually commented on fifty three posts this morning all right 
and that's basically what I do every day and if we were to count them down here on the previous day right we could probably see it be about the same but you can do that that way you can actually go and find your activity by using Facebook's tools like this um so you do that like this and it's important to do that because it causes um people to see you in their notifications causes them to potentially go visit your page and see what you're about which is why it's important to have a profile right why it's important to post content regularly because if I go to my page now to my profile right you can see my my cover photo you can see my bio you can go to my link and go see that you can see the posts I post you can kind of have an idea of you know what what kinds of stuff I post about right <clears throat> and you can kind of get a feel for you know my values and what I'm working on too right with this for example right and that's important because people will actually go based on the number of you know post uh, engagements you do they will go some of them will go to see you and you know of course you start this today and you engage on on 30 posts today you're not going to get 30 people to come see your profile that's not how it works it's over time plus especially when they're first when they first see your name in their notifications or in their posts or in their comments or you're you comment on one of their posts or something they're not necessarily going to go see who what you're about you know not everybody goes to every single comment some do maybe but not everybody right <coughs> so that's why you keep going you got to find new ideal prospects who are most active on Facebook to connect with daily two to five new per day now that is I don't do that manually because I have a tool that does it for me but it's still something you can do by that's why leaders tell you to go into groups well actually that's not in this list here but uh you know post every day and get on the people's post every day on feed and in groups right so groups <laughs> why groups because groups is where your ideal target is in if you're in weight, in weight loss well you're going to go find a group about weight loss if you're in in uh in bodybuilding you're going to go find groups about bodybuilding if you're gardening if you're you know a, a car enthusiast if you're a computer geek uh, there's all these groups that have these people in there right so whatever your audience is you're going to find those groups that's why you need to go find new ideal prospects who are most active on Facebook to connect with daily two to five new a day because you're going to want to have them be part of your your world right you want them to start to see your posts you want them to start to see your comments you want them to come and check your profile out you want and then not to mention that Facebook is a reciprocal algorithm so as you take action Facebook notices the actions you take right Facebook notices that you're posting Facebook notices that you're engaging on other people's stuff Facebook notices that you're sending messages pretty crazy how much they track but the thing is that it's not about you it's just about a general kind of statistics of what you're doing right so it sees that you're engaging on posts so it's like oh this person is really nice they're really awesome they're following the rules they're doing the stuff I'm going to take their post and show it to other people so that's why if you post and you're not doing anything else nobody ever sees your post right no, except for your mother or your your sister right nobody else sees your stuff because they're just not Facebook is just not sharing it and those people will not come to your profile to look at them it has to be in their feed but if you're engaging and posting and commenting and all that stuff people will see the, the your stuff in their feed just because that's what Facebook does the reciprocity and finding new people every day is important too because if you don't find new people you're going to be seeing all the same stuff all the time in the feed right and that's why you have to go to groups and you have to engage on stuff and you have to do these things so these are really very very pretty simple stuff to do right they, they, they do take a bit of time to track and to keep track because one of the the number five thing is you have to track your progress you if you're not tracking you're going to be randomly engaging on stuff you're going to be engaging more on some people and less on others because Facebook going to show it to you and you know although that's not an awful thing because that is how I got started that's what I learned in the beginning just take action just do it just post content just create lives do this do that right take action just do it don't worry about tracking everything and whatever but the problem is that when you don't track things you're not able to measure if you're improving or not right and this is why it's important to be tracking stuff right 
and you know track your progress so you know when it's a good time to have conversation with prospect typically wait 30 to 90 days after commenting on 60 to 120 posts now that might sound like like a lot and if you were tracking it yourself on pieces of paper or on a notebook or a spreadsheet it's a lot of work but it's not impossible to do <laughs> because some people actually do that now personally I did not do that I'm a programmer so I actually created a software to do it for me when I realized that this was important to do so that's why I have a software now to do it and I'm going to talk to you about that software in a minute but first let's just go look in Facebook and see how it's possible to do some of this without any additional software if I go to my, again if I go back to my <coughs> activities here so I just go to my activities here and I can go into my interactions <coughs> and I can look at your posts on others timelines other posts on your timeline likes and reactions polls save votes I'm just trying to see where it is that you get to see so I guess it would be under uh comments because really what I want to do is I want to see okay who can I now engage on and send a message to like let's say for example right here Cat Brown right I'm going to look for Cat Brown okay so I have Cat Brown here if I keep loading it up and that's that's one of the problems with Facebook is it doesn't show you all the data right away right I keep scrolling down if I scroll down a lot right I keep going I keep going and it keeps loading up stuff and then I can use this search here there might be a way to search you know I, I don't but I don't think so uh keep going I'm just going to keep going a little bit here and just see how many days how many days am I at is that so that's this is December 17th okay so that's just two days so Cat Brown is there only once oh well that wasn't a good example but if I take for example Sarah let's take Sarah Sarah oh cool so I have three comments here and then well that's still it that's all I have well I guess I can't really use this tool to do that right because I'd like to see when was the last time I've in interacted with her if I go to her profile and it shows me the comment I actually made but if I go to her profile to Sarah's profile for example there's a C friendship right I wonder if oh well that only work if you're friends with them what if you're not friends with them I sometimes I lots of times I engage on people that aren't friends so there's no post it doesn't show anything unless you had a post where you tagged them in it so I'm looking for you know how often I engage on their stuff so if I go back I can probably scroll through and see this one here I basically anytime I and I comment I'll also and get uh, like it right so I can look at this this is one this is two this is three <clears throat> let's just let it load here so Sarah is pretty active right she posts regularly lots of times lots of times and I know that if I did three here I know that I did more in the past uh, I'm just curious to see how how it is to how easy it is to find it on Facebook I guess it's not very easy oh here's another one see there's four there's five and that's it for now five right so if, if I keep going I can probably count them right as I there's six seven eight right here <clears throat> nine ten eleven so the point is that you can go to Facebook and you can scroll through people's profile and you can say oh you know what Sarah here I've engaged on lots of her stuff she probably has a clue who I am by now I can probably send her a message and and that's kind of what I do right is I don't you know I I engage on people's stuff too and that's what you need to be doing too you need to be engaging and then after a certain amount of time you can then reach out to them because they've seen you enough in their notifications they probably went to visit your profile they have a clue of who you are what you're about and they don't think you're like creepy and if you are creepy by the way this won't work if you don't have a profile picture if you don't have a profile set up if you're not actually posting content if you're not actually doing nice things if you're creepy if you're a scammer it's not going to work you have to be an honest person who's doing this to help them if you're not doing it to help them then it's not going to work it's never going to work and yeah sure you can scam people but that's not very 
it's not long-term thinking right long-term thinking you have to be thinking of them not of you so that's what's important to do this now how do you do this these things here right how do you do these things without a crazy amount of like you know I'm the worst at managing my uh, business accounting I totally despise going through the bills and the income and the expenses and all this stuff and putting it together to do the taxes and everything <coughs> I'm the worst at doing that so if you were to ask me to do that every day so I meant um, I I'm not late at the end of the year I would be like I'm not going to do this unless you know it's it magically makes the end of the year have nothing which and also so I don't have to think right and that's when software comes in right or using a uh, software like quicken or I don't know whatever there's a bunch of different software for accounting right if I was to use that just putting the the receipts and that's it I wouldn't have to do anything else that would be great but I don't have that so this is the same if I don't have the way to do this manually I'm probably not going to do it maybe you're not the same maybe you are okay with doing all this manually like this and if you are great you have a process to follow that will help you a lot in the future in 2023 to actually grow your audience in a way that is kind of like under your control right obviously you still want to build a list you still want to have an, an opt-in page a funnel page you there's all these other things that you need to right but these this is the basic this is the basic of what you need to do to build your audience in 2023 now how do you make it even better well you use a tool called active group users which is what I which is what I created right so I mean that tool is the bomb I mean I love it because I created it but I've got lots of other people that are saying it's amazing it's crazy it's ridiculous but it's, this is kind of how it works let me just go show you here I go to activegroupusers.com <clears throat> so you can actually go there too right activegroupusers.com by the way and uh you can set it up and there's a video here that explains how to use it right right here just press on play on this to watch how it works but I'm just going to go straight to the data and show you what it does when it when it goes and checks the users and groups right <laughs> so it'll give you a list of the users that you want to that well that are active in the groups right here you can see this number here is the number of comments this person here Baxter Badger has posted 102 comments in the last 30 days right and then <clears throat> uh this person here Sean Azimi has posted 65 comments in the last Jennifer Ray here has posted 45 comments Jean Serge Gagnon has posted 37 comments imagine that I didn't know I did that many <laughs> Brian Finale 34 30 29 28 so that's the number of comments I'm just because I'm just sorting it by that but the the point is that you get a list of who is the most active in the groups that you choose right so the groups that you choose <coughs> are up up in this in this screen here <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> the, the 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 tool lets you put in the groups that you want right in my case I'm an affiliate marketer so I've got lots of affiliate groups click funnel affiliate you know chrome boss and lsp those are groups that people are interested in affiliate making money online so that's kind of my target audience right people who want to make money online I have a tool that helps them so I'm gonna try to you know connect with them and show them why they want this tool right without being spammy by just being a friend by just connecting by just engaging and the thing is that before I reach out to them before I send them a message I want to know that I visit them a certain number of times and this is where this comes in over here this column here visits if I sort by that <coughs> the visit column is how many times I went to their profile you see Stephanie here 52 times I visited her profile Brian 46 Stacy 44 so these are people that have visited the most and if I visit them enough then I kind of know that I can probably reach out to them and that they're at least going to know who I am it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to buy what I have to sell but they're at least going to know who I am so if I look at this you can see right here that I visited her uh 38 times in the last uh 400 days right so over a year and you can see that when they are right right there the different ones five days 13 days 26 days ago 33 days ago 49 etc right so it lets me see how many times I visit same thing with the posts here how many posts I engaged on um and reacted on commented on that kind of stuff so that's what the tool lets you do it lets you do that and that means that it takes care for you 
of tracking your progress so this is done for you as long as you use the tool when you're taking the actions then it'll track it for you so you you don't need to do this manually right that's awesome that's for me that was like oh my god that's so crazy I would love that and then also finding ideal prospects who are most active on Facebook it does that for you too because if I look at this and I click by I sort by visited here I can see the list of people that I let's sort the other way the other way where these are all people that I have not even visited yet I have like literally hundreds load more I can load more but all these people I have not visited yet so I have a ton of visitors ton of people that I know that I could probably engage with that I have not even visited yet right some of some, um and uh, what else what else is in our list here so that gives me this and then engaging on posts of people who are your ideal prospect every day well this tool gives you the list of people who are in your target market the market that the, the groups that are that your target market hangs into hangs out in hangs out hangs out in <laughs> right <coughs> so that's that takes care of this too right so now these two set up your profile and create content regularly well that we can't help the only thing that the tool kind of helps you with is that because you're engaging on posts and you don't have to think about who to engage on you just click the links to go to each of their posts you're going to get some content ideas which I do I do that I get content ideas right and then I post things based on maybe a comment I make on somebody else's post so I'll actually create a, con a, a post with the same or very similar comment that I just posted or maybe even get an idea from somebody's post to post something myself and other times I'll even share their posts on my profile right so you can you know reduce your amount of work for content creation as well using a tool like this so anyways if you want to learn more about this tool or if you want to just know what the five steps are I'm actually going to be putting together a pdf to to go through these five steps to make it more simple more clear as to what it is and you'll be able to get that just by uh, going to my website or reaching out to me all right so hopefully we'll see you inside until next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.